तो नेक्स्ट फ्यू मिनट्स ट्वेंटी मिनट्स और सो ट्वेंटी फाइव मिनट्स और आई विल टेक एंड आई विल शो यू हाउ दिस सेक्टर इज अ रे ऑफ होप फॉर दिस कंट्री फॉर प्रोवाइडिंग न्यू जॉब अपॉर्चुनिटीज एंड टू एक्सेप्ट दिस चैलेंज ऑफ एम्प्लॉयमेंट सो दिस इज माई फोकस so if you will see that the complete agriculture is no i'm not talking about at this moment agriculture stuff but rather i will discuss with you how the startups in general in this country are going to change the scenario but not only creation of wealth in creation of jobs also and accepting a kind of challenges a new challenges recently you must have seen or you must have read this chandrayaan the success of the chandrayaan 3 there are few startups the young entrepreneurs from iit different sectors they have done a lot they have created their uh, they were given certain opportunities they accepted this and they are part of this huge mission which has made proud every indian uh, in this Uh, uh, land so if we can the new uh, generation new young people can contribute in that kind of highest technology and that has happened due to that as a young nation young nation in the sense we, we are having a our majority of the uh, population is uh, below than 35 and these 30 below than 35 young people are very aspiring they are tax savvy and they are completely having a different mindset so different mindset and this availability of technology and that skill skill set they are enabling this agritech sector to be a engine of growth if you will see the data which i am presenting to you this is about there were more than 67 or 66 thousand startups in 2020 now it has roughly 500 or something have been added to it and if you will see this is the data which i am talking about which has been uh, the authentic data of ministry of commerce and industry so there are roughly this kind of thing and all these startups till the last year they have created jobs more than 5.5 lakhs but if you will take a recent data somewhere the uh, minister commerce minister respected pius goel ji somewhere he has replied in rajya sabha that the total startup have given more than 7 lakh in kind of they have created 7 lakh job so what i mean to say instead of going to the traditional kind of uh, kind of businesses traditional kind of a uh, services now this sector is coming up which are giving everyone whether it's a government all the stakeholders whether the student farmers traders a different kind of a job opportunities if and i will discuss with you in general how these job opportunities are having in different sectors so this if you will see this slide there are as per the ministry of commerce there are two ten sectors are which are the highest who have created the maximum uh, startups in this area and if you will see this pie chart agriculture food and beverages healthcare and life sciences i will talk i am not going to other education the it even it is uh, agriculture sector there are certain few startups who are providing services to the agriculture sector but if you will take these sectors there are if you see agriculture sector roughly more than 3000 kind of startups have been created and food and beverage are also having more or less same kind of startups have been created in this area and if you will see healthcare and life sciences they have created more than 6000 startup during this uh, up to 2022 and 2023 so what i mean to say these kind of you 
total of these things. So more than 11,000 kind of startups have been added in this sector. And this sector agriculture is completely agri-tech. Food and beverages, here also agriculture is providing a major role. And these agri entrepreneurs, agripreneurs, they are going to provide to this sector. They are the backbone of the sector. And if you will take health, healthcare and uh, life sciences, here also, what I mean to say, the agriculture or agri-tech are going to play not in a major way, but they are also part 20% to 18 to 20%. They are playing their role in this sector too. And if you will say what kind of a jobs these sectors are going to create or going to give in this. So I will say uh, roughly in agriculture startup, agri-tech startup, till 22, more than 26,000 new jobs have been added in this sector by these startups. And if you food and beverage, similar kind of 37, more than 37,000 jobs. And if you see healthcare, more than 67,000 jobs have been created. And this is one opportunity and this is one area where agriculture background people are having a good kind of a say or they can contribute or they are rather contributing, what I would like to say. So this is the scene as on today in this area. So uh, as my slides, if you will see, in this is the authentic data which the Honorable Minister has produced in uh, Rajya Sabha. And he has said that 65,000 or 66,000 startups in this country and created on an average, roughly one startup is creating 11 jobs. So you can see what kind of scope we are having in this country. You know, everyone knows that agriculture, I'm focusing basically agri-tech and agriculture. In this country, you know, we, India, is the second largest country in the world who are having this agricultural land, agreeable land. And then in our country, roughly 70% population, as everybody knows, is coming from rural background, 68 to 70%. And then 58% or 60% population is directly or indirectly are depending upon the agriculture or the allied sectors of the agriculture. This sector is giving roughly 18.8% gross value added or you can say 16 to 17 percent gdp to this country so this is the scene as on today and previously or as on today if you will go to the traditional kind of agriculture farming there are huge challenges we can as per the what the honorable prime minister has said many times in the focus of the government has been to double the farming income but to doubling the farming income everybody knows these traditional kind of things cannot do that or we cannot achieve that goal so to achieve that goal we'll have to be adopt certain high-tech kind of things or we'll have to change the kind of machinery the kind of vehicle to achieve this kind of a growth so if you will see from this the highest these top sectors it services they are healthcare, life sciences, education, and all the, uh, you are seeing this kind of, these top sectors are giving this kind of jobs. So we are having in agriculture, what I was talking about, uh, out of this top 10, three sectors primarily are related where the agri-tech can contribute or where the, uh, where the jobs can be found in particular in three sectors as far as farming and agriculture is concerned. So th this is the slide. Next slide, we, if you will see how the these agriculture or these top sector are creating jobs. So we'll see agriculture, food, beverage, and healthcare. These are three sectors where the opportunities lies, and these are these are the top ten sectors. But I will say, if you will go the many consulting firm reports nowadays, whether it's a Price Water Cooper, whether E N Y or there are many companies if you will say they are product, uh, producing this kind of surveys time to time that in coming years agriculture is going to be the kind of a growth engine of this country to achieve a 
a GDP if you want to achieve the five trillion economy in this country in next five years or so, if you want to become the second or third largest economy power of this country, then where from this growth will come? My assumption or my uh, understanding as per the different kind of uh, data or statistics is this, if this, these three sectors, food, beverage, agriculture, and healthcare, these are going to be the backbone of this kind of growth. And particularly this agriculture, this is one sector which is completely, or you can say, majority of the untapped. There we have not tapped the full potential of these sectors. So we'll have to tap. So if we are going to work in these sectors, then we are going to create jobs. Not only create jobs, but we are going to create wealth. Wealth for farmers, wealth for the entrepreneurs, wealth for everything. And the potentials are huge. There are many areas, you know, in traditional uh, uh, agriculture, there are a lot of uh, problems for the agriculture startup, lack of information, uh, lack of understanding of the government policies or not uh, 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 not uh, accessibility to the policies, then uh, connectivity issues, then skilled labor are not available to the agri tech people uh, to, for, to implement uh, the technology at the farm level. So these kind of the problems are agri, these sectors are facing. But these problems, are actually these are not these challenges are in real terms if you will see these areas really are producing the opportunities for agritech to access or to solve these problems there lies the opportunities these are basically the future opportunities if you can address those uh, problems then you are going to cover that area you can enter that area and I, in my uh, further uh, uh, discussion. I will discuss how we can go, what are the major areas where these opportunities lies and where we can tap these areas. And considering that, that this agri-tech or agri-entrepreneurs or all these, they have potential to change the system or change the traditional kind of farming. The government of India has established, as you must have seen in the uh, last year budget in 2000. 23 budget and uh, they have declared an agri accelerator fund so with this fund there are many programs by government of india the startup india made in india and many for the crop insurance many many if you will go to the site of the uh, different ministries you will find there are a lot of initiatives have been taken by the government sector and the, even the private sector is contributing a lot to address those areas so what I mean to say, this sector, this agriculture and allied sectors, they are going to give us a huge potential in overcoming this employment, unemployment kind of a situation in this country, what we are seeing and uh, what we are seeing. But if we'll have to change the mindset of the students, instead of running behind the government job on traditional kind of thing, they'll have to be very innovative. They'll have to think a fresh kind of, out of box thinking. If they can accept the challenge, then I think there is no dearth of opportunities in this sector. And you can create not only a job for us, but you, you should be a job provider. You can provide job. And most of our, why, why sharing this data? Because our most of the people are coming from rural background as we are having 60 to 70% people in rural background. So this, in the past, what it should be from the rural background people, they were shy uh, in accepting those challenges. They are they were not thinking because the upbringing was not that kind of. People were shy to accept those kind of challenges because the areas were different kind of. The areas were whether is the information technology or industry. People from the rural background they were not having a traditional knowledge to accept those kind of challenges. But if you are having agri tech. Agritech is the one area where the people are having automatically a certain kind of skill set. So they can accept those challenges because this is one area where they have been grown up. They know how to do the agriculture, farming, how to do the uh, this uh, 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 different kind of uh, uh, 
uh, farming and dairy technology, fisheries, many, many things they knew. So if they are venturing into those area, so they can be very successful. So they are not having that, they are not venturing that kind of area where they don't know anything. So this is uh, uh, a kind of thing which can they do. So, so this is the scene, how these startups are working in this country, uh, you know, uh, there are roughly 56 diversified sectors where the startups are working and uh, more than 26% are sector IT services, fintech, technology, hardware, this kind of nanotechnologies. Nanotechnology is a huge area where the agriculture applications can be done, particularly in cleaning of water and uh, uh, the uses of nanotechnology in fisheries and kind of a crops, uh, this is a very new area. So uh, this is going to give a good, uh, if the people are having that, those kind of potential or th the people are uh, trying to set up certain kind of uh, 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 startups in this area. So this sector is full of opportunities. Then uh, briefly, I will show you how the agri-tech growth in this India. This slide will show the, at present, these are the uh, data of the government of India. Active ventures 450, forecast up to 2025 is 30 billion. Uh, current uh, this 50k workforce, and this is this is the 21 uh, to up to 2022 and 2022 beyond. This is 96 million US dollar. So, and in this sector particularly, what is the growth prospects or the job opportunities? You can see from this slide that. The agriculture sector at this moment, this they say this, this sector is ripe for disruption. This is very important. That uh, ripe for disruption means they are taking a plunge into that area to give boost to the uh, uh, technology, to give boost to the uh, overall income of the farmers and to this field. So, uh, and it has been valued from 30 billion dollar to 40 billion dollar in the next five years so if this kind of a expectations or this kind of a projections are there in the for the investment so definitely sector is going to create wealth and sector is going to create huge job in the next coming five years five year time so and uh, this ban and company this is everybody knows this is very famous consulting company so about the indian agri-tech industry they are, uh, they have uh, uh, identified or they have a projection that huge rise in attracting uh, uh, investment and roughly CAGR of 53% in total investment and from dollar 91 million in 2017 to 329 million in 2020 and now it has gone beyond that. So this, these are kind of projections. Now you can see what is the current state of agri startups in India? The slide will show you that what kind of investment is going, coming in uh, in this country in agri startups. If this kind of investment is coming into the country, definitely the job opportunities in this area, particularly. But I will discuss in the further slide. If you are having a good skill set, particularly in the kind of a innovative technologies or advanced state of the art uh, technologies. So there is a huge potential in this area. People can go, people can acquire those knowledge and they can set up their own agri startups or they can uh, be hired by these kind of, because these kind of companies are definitely going to hire these kind of skill set of people who are having at this moment. So there is a huge potential because uh, if you will see this slide, there, are the few, there is no dearth of investment. A quite uh, good investment is coming uh, to these areas. And if you will see, there are agri tech market is uh, growing roughly 32%. Karnataka, Maharashtra, and Delhi, they, they are the major place where these kind of companies are mushrooming. And uh, it is estimated that more than $10 billion will be invested in, in agri tech to start agri-tech startups over the next 10 years. So this thing, the purpose of showing this slide is, 
if this kind of investment is coming so it is opening up different kind of opportunities job opportunities for the people who are working in this sector who are intending to work in this sector so my purpose is to show you this thing the future is very very bright and these are the areas instead of going to traditional kind of job opportunities people can look towards this kind of thing as is agri tech startup they can set up their agri tech startup or they can work in those kind of things so this thing is uh, speak nearly 100 agri tech startups raised close to 1.33 billion across 139 deals between january 2020 and june 2022 this is uh, last year uh, so these kind of things are coming in this sector if you will see so these things so that the even the throughout the world people are aware these companies these investors if they are going to invest their money into agri tech sectors in this country that means they are having a huge kind of a due diligence they have a certain audit on that basis they are going to invest if they are investing that money so that means they are going to create uh, jobs in this sector so the sector is full it's a quite bright sector in the future and this slide if you will see how the growth is going in this startup in agri tech particularly so the, if you will see agri tech is a roughly 300% jump in total funding in 2020 so from dollar 155 million to 2020 636 million it was there up to that and if you see total fund raised by agri tech uh, startups from uh, 222 million to it uh, roughly 89 million in uh, 89 million say 220 million ho gaya do jar so this is the growth if you will say from so it is going up up and up then these are the startups in this country we, who are having uh, top 10 funded agri tech startups which are working and if you will say they are working in different kind of areas different kind of they are accepting whether supply chain to fintech to uh, agri farm services to agri marketing and a lot of things they are doing in transportation certain they are working in transportation and uh, they are working in uh, uh, go down or kind of a warehousing so you will see all these company they are working and they are providing different kind of services to the sector and farm so so these are the basically things and city wise if you will see how the uh, these startups are working you will see delhi and chr is having the highest uh, than bangalore chennai pune mumbai patna samastipur if you see these agri startups are uh, this is a very good thing uh, that these agri startups are coming into kind of a b uh, kind of city or c kind of city c grade city so that's good why these agri startups are mushrooming or, or growing in those area that means because they are taking the benefit of localization people are having a no traditional knowledge in they are working in those area there and uh, that's why these are uh, quite uh, successful in those area then what kind of job these are the sector uh, growth i have focused how this sector is uh, 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 growing in this sector overall in the startup scenario of this country how the agri sector is working then uh, the, what kind of job opportunity which i am discussing at this moment ye ye sector mein kaam karne se kis type ki job opportunities available hain aur hone wali hain aur kya kya challenges hain how we can address those challenges if we are going to enter in this sector so this is the data this is the pro, uh, projection of the nascom that for 450 agri tech startups growing at the rate of 25% year on year 25% year on year growth is quite a good growth so if you will see everything even uh, uh, fano uh, it's a research kind of uh, agency they have uh, projection this kind of things is this kind of a data this kind of a investment is going to be come into this country and if this uh, and the, if this is investment is coming so uh, this is creating a kind of opportunity 
So if you will see the my last version, agri tech ventures are focused mainly on using the unorganized data. So roughly 30 billion investment market potential by 2025. This sector is giving you that kind of a scope or that kind of a potential. 30 billion potent market potential. So just imagine if you are having that kind of a potential in, in this sector. So what kind of a job opportunities lies ahead in particular in this sector? So now I will give you a certain kind of a glimpse. What, what are the areas basically? What are the sectors in within this agriculture or agriculture allied sector or food and breweries if we add on in this sector? So what are the major areas from where you can work or you uh, many startups are working but there is still huge scope only at this moment maximum 3000 uh, or something startups are there in agriculture out of that only 450 or so uh, roughly 500 between 500 to 450 are the recognized or registered kind of thing so in this country more than 6 lakhs villages are there uh, so what kind of potential these are the backbones to if we are going to change the traditional kind of agriculture or the traditional kind of supply chain system or complete ecosystem in this country in agri and uh, agri and pharma and this uh, beverage food all these sectors we are adding because in pharma also there are many things which are being supplied from the agriculture particularly this traditional medicinal system so they are completely based on the agri system. So these sectors are giving you a lot of opportunities. But if you will, if I divide this sector in sub sectors, you will find that these are the one, five, six sectors which are going to give you uh, those kind of opportunities. These are the sectors which are giving you opportunities to create jobs. What are the uh, sector, uh, sectors basically uh, where we are focusing? These are farm to business, farm to business ventures. This is one potential area where we can uh, uh, set up certain kind of ventures and where we can uh, create of jobs. You know, complete supply chain is involved in this sector and the huge potential is there. Then agri fintech, because you know, uh, finance is the uh, backbone of finance is the core area for any kind of activity. So here also, so here fintech companies, fintech platforms are to be created. This is a huge area, huge gap between farmers and even for the small traders. So this is one area one where uh, if we are going to explore the opportunities in this area. So this is also going to create and huge profit uh, margins are there. If you will discuss, I have I've been, uh, I have opportunities in certain platform uh, we're discussing with the kind of new startups, they are working on this. So profit margin is quite good. Then farming enterprises, certain companies are taking up the new startups, they have themselves are doing this, uh, this farming uh, through uh, new kind of uh, uh, emerging, uh, using emerging technologies. So in different areas, so, uh, so they are, uh, these are the areas which are providing uh, a good potential or good kind of a opportunities to for creating jobs and creating uh, wealth. Then IoT enabled, you know, uh, everybody knows nowadays, nowadays, India, fortunately, India is quite ahead as far as information technology users are there because we are having complete support system, lot of IITs, NITs, and different kind of engineering college and the 72, roughly 72 uh, state agriculture universities and ICR institutions, we are having a full established ecosystem which can help in this act in this sector if someone wants to establish or someone uh, want to enter in the sector and so uh, this kind of things we are having so uh, uh, this uh, uh, iot enabled technology solutions can play a big role and we uh, the people who are thinking to enter this sector this is uh, going to be and not only this, the use of nanotechnology, farm machinery, solar water pumps, uh, if you want to set up those kind of things, automation. And these are the things which are actually are going to change the scenario 
if you want to uh, double the income, if you are going to use those kind of technologies, uh, use uh, these innovations, uh, if you are uh, ask, so these are the sector, these are the areas where you can uh, use. And the, my previous speaker, I was listening to it. There are many companies who are establishing linkages to the farmers for different kind of e mondays or do, they are providing different kind of uh, platform, e-platform for uh, uh, addressing those kind of challenges. So these, these challenges basically are nowadays, if you see, these are not the challenges. These are the opportunities, basically, where you can enter, you can create, you can accept the challenge, and you can create wealth. There are a lot of things, even finances are available. Many things are, many banks, many government schemes are there, where finance are there. So each sector, which I'm discussing this subsector, they are providing a lot of opportunities to create these uh, ventures or create, if you are going to create ventures, then automatically, consequentially, the job opportunities are going to be created in this sector. So farm management services, this is a huge area. The people who are coming from the uh, rural background or the farming background, they know still today, farmers are not aware. There are many services are required to be done at the farmer's level or the field level. So if you are entering this area, you have certain skills. The complete production management or the farm management and decision making thing, these are involved in this thing. So each one of these sectors or subsectors or sub subsectors are providing you the uh, potential to uh, set up a uh, an organization or set up a kind of a uh, entity and through which you can create even a small very small entity you are going to have four to five or roughly say 11 percent so you are going to give roughly 11 percent are to be absorbed and another thing is this because this because this is a farm sector opportunity so you are going to create job locally if you are going to set up a company, your area, so complete supplies and transportation and this farm advisory services, testing, analysis, all such kind of things, that means you are going to pride, you are, you are not to rush or you, know, you, you, you need not to go to the bigger cities. You are having these jobs nearby your home. So this is the best part of this thing, that if this kind of opportunities are coming in the next five years, taking into account the potential, taking into account the investment coming to this area. So that means that is a big thing that you are going to get a job in your nearby your home, maximum your district or near uh, your near adjoining district. So if these are few areas, then farmer to consumer model. This is also a very, because now it's a farmer to uh, farm to pork kind of thing. There are many things are available in this kind of thing. Then it's a huge role Generally, people's perception, particularly in the big cities, are things. When we are talking about farming, an image coming to our mind through this uh, Bollywood kind of system that is a poor farmer. He is having uh, poor uh, kind of uh, facilities. But nowadays, this sector is changing. That perception is changing. If you say, if you will uh, uh, go through these uh, technologies, this uh, startup. More, most of the startups are being started by people who, even there are many people who have come back from abroad, US, they were having some good multinational job. And in India also, you must have seen the success stories. There are people who have left their job, who have come to this area, started the farming, but start, they have started the, but peculiar thing is this, these uh, highly educated people, they are adopting new technology, automation. And that's why they are changing the complete working style and the production and the profit margin, particularly. Now, farming is not that kind of thing. Farming is, is giving, if you are going to adopt those kind of technology, emerging technologies, then the complete scene, and you are going to start this kind of in a complete professional manner, and kind of a business venture from the day one. So then you are going to have a huge profit margin. 
so and these are the sectors or the areas if you will see where the huge potential of job opportunities they are in the farming sector even they are the basically technological roles data scientist it uh, uh, specialist and uh, what about the software people automation people farm machinery ai uh, people and machine learning these are certain areas where uh, the people are having those job opportunities in complete in working with the agri tech sector because the agri success of the agri tech startup and creation of job is basically lies adopting these kind of a uh, advanced technologies uh, through and converting this traditional system of farming to the complete automation kind of a system and uh, giving certain newer kind of solution in supply chain management and forecasting yield forecasting uh, these are few areas where uh, the the, uh, uh, the the growth is there growth is and the precision farming if you are going to use you want to do the precision farming then definitely uh, ai and ml is uh, going to play a very vital role then as i have already uh, told you data scientist analysis a uh, ml uh, ai specialist these are the people and people are working in supply chain management business intelligence they here they are going to play a very vital role in uh, uh, complete innovation of agri tech ventures so here if you are going to work if you are going to contribute in this area so this area is going to have good potential for profit and future if you will go different kind of reports of these companies you will find that the future may agriculture is a very people generally nowadays you are seeing in adani ambani everybody is going to already entered in this kind of sector so why 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 they have entered because potential future potential is in this area if you are related to this area you can earn and you can give opportunity to others and you can kind of a job provider job creator but the solution is not this the solution my again i am saying if you are going to adopt this innovative things emerging technologies and you are going to use software robotics biotechnology nanotechnology if you are going drones you know the drone is uh, are going to play a very vital role in agriculture already they have started so if you are a drone expert if if you can provide the services of drones to the farmers in the different areas you can use this drone so th these are the areas where you can enter into this and you, you can find job or you can create job so these few areas they are very very important areas where and people can find certain things then uh, another thing is this this is a kind of centralized approach but if you go agriculture is basically if you practically will see if the companies are going to different areas so language barrier is a big thing so if you are language expert you can work with the it specialist where you are working different apps so you can be a good potential for you can good give a good services for creating apps in different languages in local languages so you can meet the regional aspiration through this kind of thing so these are few things which can be created so the areas are basically there are few potential areas where you can work sales contact centers business development and so on and so forth then so these are i have discussed the sensors sensors are definitely are going to play a very vital role to address the inefficiencies in the uh, uh, supply chain so and finance finance is a very important role fintech companies and different if you are working a kind of a role you are playing to linkage with the banking or the financial companies to the farmers or to the uh, different kind of platforms or agri startups you if you are you can become a aggregator you can become a, uh, a coordinator between these things so they are going to give you different various kind of opportunities for uh, working or to be successful in this area so uh, the huge sp space is there in this business if you are there so basically in future uh, the lot of jobs are going to be coming from these sectors and if you are people 
of this kind of uh, kind of uh, expertise this kind of skill this uh, so manpower so definitely uh, the, uh, there is no dot or a kind of opportunity for as far as uh, jobs are there then if you will see if there are certain companies they are working at the grass root level so if you are having those kind of uh, for yield forecasting and uh, different kind of work you are taking into uh, uh, kind of a uh, nano uh, bubble use uh, nanotechnology in the uh, cleaning of water this kind so people are not only the very high skilled people even the lower level skilled people are uh, required uh, to work within a, uh, the company and the farmers who are understanding the local problems and who can become a role or who can play a role between the uh, company and between the farmers uh, who can properly explain the what kind of problem is there and they understand the farmer psychology the local problems and uh, they can explain so so the people who are having local language local knowledge they are also going to play a vital role particularly in sales contact center business development tech. these are the areas where the huge potential of job uh, in, in agriculture sector is required so you can work in this thing so uh, there are huge these, these are the certain areas this is one area if you want to discuss so we do thing ghante bhi kam padenge agar if you are going taking each and everything and we are discussing this but nowadays my focus or my thinking or whatever i want to emphasize is this agri tech sector is going to provide the major uh, thrust in creating of job and huge job opportunity this is one area which has not been fully utilized but if people are thinking to enter in this area or there are huge potential these are the areas which i have covered which are going to give you certain kind of edge if you are having those potential you can be uh, beneficiary or you can uh, there is no uh, i will say there are huge potential huge opportunities are there to work in this area and having the, the, these are the areas which are going to create jobs in the coming Uh, years as uh, the projections is uh, are going there so as my introduction was given i have uh, worked with the government sector most of the time uh, my majority uh, i have worked in government uh, in different uh, i have worked in delhi government also central government also so i had a, uh, experiences policy and implementation regulator and in finance financial management of this sector and after that i have been uh, advisor to few companies and now i am i am a founder and a ceo of this tnd green tech solution company uh, uh, we are basically this uh, we are having few expert of agri expert to retired vice chancellors also with us and uh, we are working basically this is the mission of the company and these are few services we are providing uh, to the farmers and to the Uh, company startups also basically at this moment we are working on two uh, main uh, my this company is having uh, a memorandum with iit roper and iit durki uh, and uh, a company called celsius pro this is top 10 company of the europe this celsius pro as far as insurance uh, sector is concerned particularly the agri insurance and all this thing so we are entering in the area for this crop insurance area so basically our uh, consortia we have uh, made up a consortia our proposal is with ministry of agriculture we are going to work with the crop yield forecasting uh, through satellite and all this this uh, using different kind of methodology in apps and so this agriculture working uh, uh, with roper iit roper dnd green tech and the celsius pro we are the three companies basically the leading company is dnd so we are going to pri- provide a certain kind of solution in farm insurance uh, sector another sector which we are touching is the nano use of nano technology nano bubble technology for cleaning the water this is a very advanced technology which we are going to use in agriculture fisheries and uh, cleaning of water in lakes and different kind of ponds and even for the stps so this is one technology we are having this we are for this work also we are having a collaboration with the company of the uh, south korea 
so we are working on this like this is a kind of a new kind of a technology which this company has ventured and we are working on this use of technology even for the namami gange we have uh, uh, demonstrate to the government of india uh, about the use of this nano bubble generators our company has devised and the indigenous indigenously using the technology with the collaboration with the us and this south korea so a new complete uh, machines we have developed for cleaning the waters in uh, uh, stps and uh, recently we have cleaned we have three four months we have cleaned the bangla sab gurdwar there is a holy pond there so the uh, it was quite dirty and without changing the water because changing water has a very big cost our machines we have put up two months there and the water is completely clean and if anybody can go to the bangla sab and they can find that how we have cleaned this using this nano bubble technology and this is very very cost effective if you will say i say in the stp the previously the government was using 200 400 crore kind of uh, project but if they are using our machine our projection is there, that can be done in 40 to 50 crores kind of a investment the same kind of work which were because this is completely uh, very innovative kind of technology so basically at this moment we have we, this dnd green tech we are working on this and we are having a uh, team of uh, uh, agriculture experts in, including few vice chancellors are with us and from the different kind of advisors and we are having few people from this uh, water kind of people uh, water areas uh, there are certain few good engineers so we are working in two sectors third sector we are just have started helping the farmers sir, uh, sorry for uh, just just uh, one minute okay, okay. farm farm uh, we are helping the farmers to forming uh, self help groups uh, in ncr uh, so these are few things which uh, I wanted to brought uh, into the notice, and I'm very thankful for the uh, participants and uh, for the uh, management that I have been I have given, been given this kind of opportunity to showcase and to discuss with. You.